schools in across the area have sent out surveys over the summer for parents to decide how they want their kids to learn in the fall. News Channel 6's Kim Vickers was in Burke County today where they are taking it a step further. The Burke County school system sent out their parent survey several weeks ago, but they still have not heard back from many of the parents. So they're rolling up their sleeves and getting to work making calls. All of our schools, we needed to know basically parent preference, uh, whether or not they were going, parents were going to send their children back to school or whether they were choosing to do virtual learning. Adkins says that the district heard back from about 80% of parents and that the preference for learning was split 50-50. He also says that it wasn't enough. They needed to hear from them all. Parents who didn't fill out the survey can expect a call from the district as early as Monday morning. It's vital. Uh, we have to have our parent input so that we can properly plan for instruction. And for all, transportation, school nutrition, every element of, of operations of the school is based on what our enrollment is going to be. One teacher says that reaching out to all parents is crucial. Um, educating kids is part of a team. The parents are part of our team, we're part of their team, and we have to work together. Walden says that this year, parents, students, and teachers will be in uncharted territory and that everyone needs to be patient with each other. I just want people to know that teachers want to come back. You know, we want to be here five days a week. We want our kids in the building. Um, I gave the comparison that if you're a runner, you train to run your whole life, and then you get to your track meet and you're told you have to swim. Well, you're an athlete, so you're going to figure it out. You're going to swim. You're going to do the best you can, but it's going to take some time. A representative for the Board of Education says parents of students in kindergarten through eighth grade will be able to reevaluate whether or not they want their children to continue the learning model they are on after the first eight weeks. High school students must commit to a semester. July 31st at midnight is the deadline for parents to sign their children up for virtual learning in Burke County. In Waynesboro, I'm Kim Vickers, WJBF News Channel 6.